for that. Jack, do you have, did you see Pam's email? Were you able to find that? Uh, I'm looking, I got it. Okay. Here it is. All right. Here we go. All right. Okay, so uh, welcome to the Amherst Planning Board meeting of August 25th, uh, 2021. My name is Jack Jemsek. Um, and as the chair of the, of the Amherst Planning Board, I am calling the meeting to order at 6.31 p.m. This meeting is being recorded and is available via Amherst Media live stream. Minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this planning board meeting, including public hearings, will be conducted via remote means using the Zoom platform. The Zoom uh, meeting link is available on the meeting agenda posted on the town's website calendar, listing for this meeting, or go to the planning board webpage and click on the most recent agenda, which lists the Zoom link at the top of the page. No in-person attendance of the public will be permitted. However, every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the meeting in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Town of Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Board members, I will take a roll call. When I call your name, unmute yourself, answer permanently, and then uh, place yourselves back on mute. Uh, Maria Chow. Present. And Tom Long. Yeah, I'm just getting up the, the roster here. Um, Tom Long was excused. Yeah, he, he, he's excused. Andrew McDougall, I do not see. Uh, Doug Marshall. Present. And then Janet is excused. And Johanna is excused. So uh, board members, if technical issues arise, um, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem then continue the meeting. Discussion may be suspended while the issues are addressed and the minutes will note if this happens. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. We'll see your raised hand and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember to remute yourself. Opportunity for public comment will be provided during the public general public comment period and is reserved for comments regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Public comment may also be heard at other appropriate times during the meeting. Please be aware that the board will not respond to comments during the general public comment period. Please indicate you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you have joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, Please indicate you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your telephone. When called on, please identify yourselves by stating your full name and address and put yourselves back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views up for up to three minutes and at the discretion of the planning board chair, if a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be disconnected from the meeting. So we have uh, no minutes and I'm looking for public comment here. Looks like we have two attendees, Dorothy Pam. Um, okay, so with that, the public hearing, there's a um, preamble that I can, I can bring that up here. Okay. So, this is a, for public hearing SUB 2022-01, SUB 2022-01 for 1113 uh, uh, East Pleasant Street for Archipelago Investments, LLC. Um, it is 635. And in accordance with the provisions of the MGL Chapter 40A, this public hearing has been duly advertised and notice thereof has been posted and is being held 
the purpose of providing the opportunity for interested citizens to be heard regarding SUB 2022-01 for 11-13 East Pleasant Street. Uh, request approval for a two lot preliminary subdivision plan under MGL chapter 41, sections 81L and 81S for um, several lots, um, map 11C-275, 11C-276, 11C-277, 11C-309, and 11C-310, all in the BG zoning district. Um, I don't believe we have any board member disclosures, but I'll, I'll ask, I see none. Um, and then the applicant presentation, is that, who's that coming from? So I don't believe the applicant is here tonight. I'll check the um, roster, but no, he's not here. The applicant has um, sent a letter and would you like me to read it? Sure. Um, dear planning board members, I'm writing to request that the planning board, well, this was a letter you had last week, extend the 45 day review period for preliminary subdivision plan to a date in late September or early October and preferably hold a public hearing on the application on September 29th. Um, I'm noting that Andrew McDougall has joined the meeting. Yes. Hi, Andrew. Sorry for being late. Hi, everyone. So the idea here is that you would, um, you have opened the public hearing and now that you would uh, take a motion to continue the public hearing to um, September 29th. And I'm gonna suggest the time of seven o'clock um, and, um, and then uh, not take any testimony or um, you wouldn't take any testimony from the applicant cause he's not here, but don't take any testimony from the public either. And then um, just uh, vote to continue. Okay, we have a, a motion to do that. Doug? Yeah, I move that we continue the public hearing to September 29th. Okay. Uh, do we have at a time? Seven, at 7.30. At 7, 7 o'clock? Excuse me, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Um, I guess that's my motion. I, I wondered if there was gonna be any mention of the fact that we don't have a quorum. And you don't have a quorum either. Yep. Yeah, well, you do have a quorum, actually. Now that Andrew has joined, you have Jack and Maria and yourself and Andrew. So that's four. That's a quorum. Okay. And I'm it's not a special the... permit, so you don't need five votes. You only need four. Yeah. Andrew, you want to second? I, I was going to second the motion and just comment that I'm drinking in the power right now. So um, I, I, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you missed a discussion. This is going to be like our shortest planning board meeting ever. It definitely. So, um, um, okay. Any discussion on this? And I see none. So we'll do roll call. Um, Maria. Approved. And Andrew. Aye. Doug. Aye. And I am an I as well. So it's four zero. And uh, going to the report of the chair, I have nothing. Report of staff. I have nothing either, but I'm looking forward to meeting with you next week on Wednesday, September 1st. Okay, but I, I, I do know, but we don't need to discuss this. <laughs> but CRC has been doing some things, and, but we can certainly discuss that next, next week. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to change anything, right? No. And what do we have? I'm looking to see what we have next week. Next week, you have the Amherst College sign project, and then you have a discussion of um, the apartment zoning bylaw and parking zoning bylaw. Okay. And, then, uh, and the Amherst Survival Center is coming back to you to um, talk to you about the fate of their shed that they got permission to have to install last year. And one of the conditions of their permit was that they come back and let you know what, you know, how long is this shed going to be there? Um, and and I'm wondering, like Maureen's uh, build-out analysis for the apartment. Yeah, uh, that, that, that seems to be, you know, just a lot of, lot of uh, new information, um, valuable, no doubt. Um, and again, we're deliberating on the apartment, so I'm just wondering. 
Um, yes, she's going to have that information for you. I think we sent out something yesterday, didn't we? And yes. um, and I believe yeah. she's planning to update that further, and um, we'll send that out. You know, whatever updated information she has prior to the meeting. Okay. And you do have um, election of officers on your agenda, and um, another thing is ANR and ANR for Research Drive. So we'll be having that, those oh. things in your packet. I'm. I'm. Uh, I, do you mind me asking what that is? Because I thought that was already built out. So um, yeah, I can tell you. It's um, Kate Atkinson, who's a doctor who has a building on Research Drive, uh, has purchased or is in the process of purchasing a lot from a gentleman who has a lot closer to Old Belchertown Road, and she wants to build a parking lot there. Um, she's getting approval of the parking lot under Article 14, which is that emergency um, mechanism that we put in place last summer to allow the building commissioner to okay certain things, particularly with regard to uh, both downtown dining, but also with regard to um, medical, anything having to do with medical issues. Um, so she's gotten approval for that, but now she wants to connect the two properties. And Ron Lavertier owns a one foot strip of land alone along Research Drive, and he's going to sell her part of that one foot strip of land so she can connect her two properties. It's very, it's sort of an arcane type of thing, but um, you'll see it once you receive a copy of the plan and um, we'll explain it again next, next week. All right. Well, I have a lot of... Uh experience on research drive over the years so i'll be interested to see that uh i see doug's hand and then the andrew yeah i was wondering why the subdivision request that we continued the hearing for earlier this evening is numbered for in the year 2022 rather than 2021 it's uh the town's fiscal year 22 okay thank so you our, our fiscal, yes july 1st July 1st, right to June 30th. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Andrew? Yeah, um, I, know, I know we don't have new business on here. I just, I was want to let folks know that CPAC is planning on having their first meeting tomorrow, uh, which, you know, is earlier than in years past. So I know, uh, I think it's probably not for uh, another month or something before we've determined those committee assignments, but I just wanted to let folks know that we're starting a little bit earlier. Uh, I was planning on attending tomorrow, um, but um, I don't know if other members of the board have interest in uh, in filling that role for this uh, this cycle or not. I can't remember whether whether we consider these terms to be like coterminous with our own or whether we rotate them annually. But uh, just wanted to bring it to your attention. I'm sure you're it, Andrew. Um, I, I'm happy to do it. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I'm happy to do it, but I, I also don't want to you've prevent been doing anybody it. else from having the opportunity. Right. You've been doing a great job. Uh, Doug. Yeah, I was just going to say I probably should not do a CPAC for a while. There's plenty of CPAC going on in my household right now. Good to know. Um, Karen does an awesome job. <laughs> and Chris. So I just wanted to mention that along with election of officers, you'll have a chance to uh, shuffle your committee and liaison assignments if you wish to. Um, so that's part of the election of officers. So think about what you want to be doing uh, as you're moving forward. And if you like what you're doing, you can say that loud and clear. And I'm sure other people will be happy to let you keep doing it. <laughs> So yeah, I know the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission we're meeting, the executive committee is meeting tomorrow at four. So I'll be at that and that we skipped a month or two. So we'll see how that goes. Um, do you have anything else, Chris? I don't. Okay, we can adjourn at 6.45. Wow. That is a wow. Who said wow? That's so good. <laughs> that, was, that, that was audible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe we yeah. should invite Nate to all of our meetings. You're right. It's the magic. Not because of Nate, huh? And lucky charm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, everyone enjoy their evening. Thank yep. you so much. Bye. Thank you. Take it Thank easy. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye.